I saw a picture done in alcohol ink and I thought I'd try to kind of recreate the style of it. It's not that I'm trying to uh, take anybody else's ideas, but I think it's more the technique than anything that I'm interested in. So let's see if I can pull this off. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so I saw a picture uh, uh, that was done in Alcohol Ink, and what was really, really interesting is the overall had a color to it. It could have even been a blend of several colors, but there was definitely some hints of metallic thin lines going throughout that kind of remind me of um, just, I don't want to say ribbons, but just ripples, if anything. Uh, of thin lines of metallics. So, and the metallic colors seem to be the same overall. And I think in theirs, it was uh, like a, a steel color, not quite silver, but a little bit darker. Anyway, so I thought I'd try that out. And I've got a bunch of colors here. So I thought I would do kind of like a patina mixture where I've got a couple browns in here. And then I mainly have some turquoise blends of colors. Uh, and I thought my metallic I would use would be a silver. So what we're going to do is, <laughs> what we're going to attempt to do, I'll put it this way, is I'm going to flood this with color, or let me backtrack that a little bit, flood with alcohol, put a bunch of color in here, and then just through the way I'm heating it up and moving it around will help out with the, um, the lines. In theory, hopefully. Let me get started. Okie dokie. Definitely need gloves today because we're going to be messing with a lot of color. Um, and I'm going to get these lids off first because it's going to make a life a lot easier. Now, metallics are one of those things It's probably a good idea to kind of keep the lids on. I... We'll take it off and just lay it on top just to keep it from evaporating. But the other colors, the nozzle are nice and tight, so it doesn't do a lot of evaporation on there, so it's not so much of a problem. Let's see. And always, always, always make sure you shake up your metallics well. Um, you will here. Get it going. You'll hear a little ball in there, and you definitely want to get that moving around. So, if that ball is not moving around, that means it is thick and congealed at the bottom, and either it has dried up or you just need to put some elbow grease on your shaking. Okay, here we go. Hopefully not going to go too heavy on the alcohol because usually when I do this, I do a nice blend in the background and I'm not looking at, I don't usually create a whole bunch of lines just to get myself uh, some color in the back, uh, background to start playing with. Um, so that way if there's an area that I decide not to work on it uh, and I want to keep it smooth, I can do that. So I'm just going to build up some colors over here, little bits in some areas. And I'm just playing with different tones of colors for now, and this helps give it some depth. And 
hoping I don't need to add much alcohol because I do want the colors to cover the piece before I add silver to it. So come on, blend. There we go. I get asked a lot whether or not I use a ventilator and, and the answer is, is no, I don't, but I also have very tall vaulted ceilings in my studio and you can probably hear by the echo, it's a very large space. So there's plenty of room for this uh, alcohol to evaporate. And if I do several pieces, a lot of times, I usually end up taking a break anyway and just let it air out. All right, I think that'll work. All right, I'm gonna close the silver back up and give it a good shake before the next step. And now, I did not look at how they did the piece, so I'm just kind of playing with it to see if I can come up with my own way of doing this. So this is either going to be a, a success or it's going to be a flop. I don't know. So we'll be optimistic. I'm just wondering if I've got enough silver here. I'll have some stronger bits. nice to be able to get alcohol so I can play again. Okay. So I think we're good. I'm just moving my alcohol inks to the side a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna start working in this area and just kind of expand over into here and then watch whatever is drying and then whatever area is drying first. Then I'm gonna slowly start coming back, let's say, the, this area is drying first. I'll slowly start coming back from that. just very carefully I'm not getting the lines that I want to hmm. Try pushing it back and drawing again.
I just picked up my phone. I've got silver all over my phone. No! <laughs> so much for having a pretty phone. Right, let me zoom you in. I'm going to give you a sideway view so that way you can see the silver, what I'm seeing. But I really like the contrast and the blues are pretty. And even that little touch of brown really makes it work good. It is interesting the texture that is right in here. But that's all from the uh, the metallic deposits. Very shimmery, very pretty. All right, I'll pull you in an angle so you can see how much shimmer I'm talking about. See all that? That's a lot of show silver there. Yeah, it's all over that piece. But I was able to put some color on the top of it, so it did push it back a little bit, and I'm happy with that. I wish I see the side. How much silver deposits are on there? That's pretty funny. All right, I'm going to put pictures at the end of the video, uh, show you the colors I used. All righty, we are done. There you go. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And I have to personally say thanks for all the comments on all my videos. I do read each and every one of them. I'm a little behind on answering them, sorry. I'm trying to work on that the next few days. But I do read them all, so I appreciate that. And thank you very much. Uh, check the links in the description below for my Amazon store link. I don't know what you want to call it, a link collection. Anyway, I get a teeny tiny bit of commission. We're talking pennies here, but you guys don't see a change in the price range. So click away. And I put any of the supplies I use in the in that Amazon store so you can check that out. And any of the colors I use for my resin, I get it from Artist Till Death. And that link is also in the description as well. There you go.